All right, guys, so uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And uh, right now we're just gonna get to some painting and then hopefully as we start to see some of the, some of the shop stuff. Coming in, coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, just yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and paint. We did some kind of janky thing there. This should be able to hold this thing at an angle. The reason why we're doing this, you can see there's a little bit of a venting area. We're gonna actually put two fans here that just bent outwards. Um, the reason we're doing that is because, yeah, right there. These are custom. <laughs> we're so janky. Hey, guys, but we're not that janky. Let's check this, this is pretty legit. Anyway, even look at the mask in here. This is some, some professional stuff, right, Jamon? But anyways, guys, yeah, so um, we're just gonna put the two fans vanning outwards. We're gonna go ahead and do put the paint mix, and then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start painting. What we're gonna do is to put one like light coat all the way around because our tank can't handle an entire car full coat. So we're gonna do like a very light coat, and then in a second, maybe even like, probably like four or five layers, right? Yeah. That looks pretty sick. Ooh, that Nardo Bay looks fire. So 20 ounces of reducer and then 20 ounces of paint and then we get to go. Anyways guys, we are ready to go. We got all the paint in the gun. We got the extra paint right here. Let's go ahead and start spraying. We're almost done with the final coat. Once we're done with the final coat, we're actually gonna clear it same day. So hopefully this thing will be ready to just be polished out on Sunday, sanded, polished. The whole body, the whole chassis is gonna be done, but we still have to do like the bumpers, the side skirts and all that stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably the first time and the last time I'm ever gonna paint in my dad's garage. Cause I'm sure he's just not gonna be happy with all this. I'm gonna have to do a lot of cleaning up for him. It's like a little bit. Guys, so apparently that, that's what we used to paint the hood. We didn't actually mix this before we started painting. That's why it was so dark. So that's how Nardo Grace is kind of supposed to look. Um, well, you guys saw the car. You, you guys saw, this is Nardo Gray. <laughs> that is not Nardo Gray, that's black. I mean, that's how our hood came out. So we messed up on that. That's whatever, we'll just redo the hood. Hood is messed up anyway, so maybe God did it this way. He's like, you need to make sure that hood's good to go. So I was like, okay, you know what? We're gonna fix the hood and we're gonna repaint it uh, with the bumpers and the side skirts as well. But anyways, right now we're gonna do the clear. Uh, so for we're gonna use 24 ounces of this and 12 ounces of this. All right, guys. Clear is very sticky, so this can go either very good or very bad. So we'll see how this thing goes. All right, sorry guys, I actually set y'all up and it looks like it didn't record when I was doing the entire clear coat, so sorry about that. Um, basically, put on four layers of clear coat. We were deciding on three, but we decided to just do four, mainly because we have extra clear coat. We want to make sure that when we're driving, we get rock chips. It doesn't really affect the paint. So we put an extra couple layers, and then we have enough to redo the hood. We're gonna, we're gonna fix the hood, we're gonna repaint the hood, and we're gonna do the whole body kit as well, and then put it on the car eventually. But as of now, I'll cut back to you guys um, when we actually come back, check out how the car looks, polish it and see the final product. I'm super hyped for this. First time painting a car, I'm really hoping it comes out looking beautiful because right now, it's looking pretty good. But yeah, so today we're gonna be figuring out how the paint looks after it's polished and ready to go. It's gonna be 100% ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and drive it to the shop, hopefully, either today or in another day. We'll see because we have to take a few other cars to the shop as well. You know, like since Devon's got totaled and all that stuff. Anyways, let's check out the paint real quick. Jeez Louise. Guys. What is, what is life? Oh my God, we did this. Oh my Lord, this is Nardo Gray, guys. This looks so sick. 
And I know for a fact my brother's gonna want the roof wrapped in black, the mirrors are gonna be black, the door handles are gonna be black, you know, some things here and there are gonna be black, black axes, black lips. This is gonna look fire, especially this is considering it has a sports package, it's slightly lowered, it has a sports interior. I'm hoping none of the interior got damaged. Uh, we'll have to find out once this car is fully polished. But as of now, we're gonna go ahead and sand the whole car with 1200 grit, and then uh, pretty much start polishing it. I think 1200, then 1500, then polish. So I guess we're gonna do a little time lapse of me just sanding the whole car. I don't like to see this stuff go, but um, we're just trying to fix all the imperfections like these little guys real quick. So we're first gonna start with 1,000, then 1,500, and then after all this, then we're gonna start polishing it. All right, guys, so this is where we're currently standing. Uh, it's pretty much all sanding. No, it's not pretty much all sanded at all. So if you guys look right here, um, this is pretty much sanded down, looks pretty good, but then you have like this stuff. Let me see if I can see all those holes. Um, so it looks really good, but for this, this is gonna show all through the polish. Um, same goes for the trunk. It looks pretty dang good, but you still have a little bit of flaws here and there. So this is actually like a bigger project than I thought to get all this sanded down. I think that's what you call orange peel. Not really too sure, but um, that's what we need to work on. It's gonna take a long time to do. It's probably a whole dedicated day of just of sanding, then polishing. So yeah, this will probably be in the next video for y'all. I did want to put it all in this video, but unfortunately it seems like a lot of work and we have to get down to the shop. We had a lot of things to do to the shop and today we're all together. It's probably the best day to do that. We got Devon over here, John over there chilling like a villain. <laughs> he already got put ready and everything. <laughs> we're gonna go upstairs, get the couch. So we have like these two couches my parents actually they offered all three of them but i don't know if we're able to get all of them so we'll take what we can load it onto uh john's truck and hopefully get it down there in one piece without it flying off on the highway uh we'll figure that out in john's truck my two couches actually end up fitting now it's our two couches this is lit it's actually pretty dope shop truck, shop truck exactly dang we just got to figure out a way to make sure these things don't fly out that wasn't your idea, everybody. That was John's idea. We are ready to go, so um, I think we can just head out now, right? Guys, yeah, this is all we're doing to hold these two down. To be honest, I don't think, unless you're mobbing down the highway, dude. No, we are. <laughs> I think we'll be fine for the most part, but. Both only. These guys. If Devon's driving, we're going slow. But... Why don't we take it two cars or one car? I'm driving. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so we got. All three of the cars, the Corolla, the X5, and the truck, we're all heading out right now. Um, we're basically taking the Corolla down to his place. We're gonna get up a few parts, throw it in the X5, and then head out in the X5 in the truck to get some things for the for the shop. Pretty stoked on it. That means that you're blessed. You woke up today with a heartbeat in your chest. This guy drives like a maniac with that truck. <laughs> Bro, you good? <laughs> Let's go, bro! <laughs> no way! <laughs> so what do you think of his new whip? <laughs> that should buff out, right? That should buff out, honestly. I mean, I think this this eight, should buff out. This, I mean, I might have to replace that. 800 but, grit, 1,000. 1,000 grit, 2, and, then, and then polish it. Some spit shine. Yeah, yeah then yeah. you get to go. Honestly, this throw a bumper on it. No one needs to know. Alright, guys. So we just pulled up. Um, I guess now we're just gonna load the the couches into the new shop so basically we're gonna go in there and just see what jonathan did the other day so jonathan ended up cleaning up the inside of the pretty much the office space the living space kind of um so you clean up that area so we're gonna go ahead and just see what he did and then go ahead and take out these couches put it in there to make it a little bit more homey at least a place we can sit our booties down so um yeah so made it here in one piece yeah i mean i try to lose them on the freeway <laughs> brought our keys oh, i'd be so upset <laughs> Um, we still don't have electricity. Where's that flash? I need to put a flashlight in. Dude, is it new buzz? Yeah. Oh, he, he, he sprayed that pest control stuff. Nah. So all the bugs are dying and shit. Okay, that's good. 
See a whole bunch of bugs on the ground. All right, well, we gotta vacuum all that up. Dude, this is like a scary. Yeah. The heck, it's like. <laughs> I'm terrified. Look at all these bugs just dead. They all fell dead. And all this Canadian dry. The Devon is like, we have to have Canadian dry. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yes, but yeah, check all that out. We're going to have to um, gonna have to vacuum all this stuff out. We're getting electricity tomorrow. We still don't have electricity. Anywho, let's see what's going on here. That's scary. <laughs> Imagine something just jumps at us. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Dang, okay. Well, we're in here now. Um, pest control stuff, the air stuff. Oh, this is Jonathan's new cabinets. Oh, our cabinets right here, we brought them? Dang, oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Oh yeah, we did put them in the bin. And then yeah, we got the vacuum. Uh, we do have a hose oh, as well. But yeah, I don't know if you guys saw. Um, the, me and Devon ended up getting the same exact workstation. This is gonna be like just off to the side, put all our stuff on it, little tools, all the little things there, which is pretty dope. We got this for like 80 bucks from Harbor Freight. Jonathan um, had to be extra to get the real shop stuff here. So he picked up some craftsman stuff, so pretty nice, good stuff. FYI, also uh, Devon has a TV just casually sitting in his house, brand new and sealed. Like I actually don't know why. Who would just have a brand new sealed TV at their house? But anyways. It's gonna help us out, so that's good. We got the couches and everything. We also have the rugs, so let's go ahead and just, just start putting out some things. A fitment though, all right, check this out guys. What is it, MTV shit? I don't even know how you do that stuff, anyways. I'm gonna knock and then you open it. Oh, that shit yeah. Got the stuff? Yeah. Welcome to my crib. So, uh, you got security cameras and everything. Wait. <laughs> I got my man. Oh, oh shit. My oh, what? <laughs> what kind of house is this? <laughs> we check this out, guys. It's so sick. So, we got the two couches right here just chilling. We're going to have a TV up there. We're going to have a coffee table here. We're going to have a server here. Um, 24 hours. I'm already, I'm already so digging. What do you think of this, John? I like it. This is sick. I like sick. it a lot. Yeah. This is so sick. It's already coming home. Dude, we have to do like an Apple TV too so we can mirror all this stuff. We're here. Yeah, can Perfect. I... Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's got one Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you didn't even warm it up or put water. It's supposed to eat this stale? What the hell? I don't want this crap. <laughs> Alright guys, so we pretty much finished pretty much unloading. Can't really do much today. And here we are at the end guys. So basically at this point, pretty much finished up the shop. Uh, we, we're gonna be working on my brother's car a little bit more hopefully. We're just trying to get everything moved into the garage first to continue our work. So hopefully in the next video guys, it should be really exciting. Should be getting into the garage, should be getting a new car. So a lot of good things are happening in the near future. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth